Hi everyone, you're all here. Uh, today I'll be recording the uh, reaction to the Zhongli um, character demo, uh, the listener. I'll be reacting to the Chinese version, the Japanese version, and the English version. Uh, so let's get started. Shang Sit 只愿当敌四方，互得服侍义。那是离月最初的契约，而现在，最后的契约，终于也已拟定了。Oh, yeah. As uh, people have mentioned, the Zhongli theme is one of the best pieces of Hoyu's music. Um, and I've got to agree with that. This bit here is, is the best part about it, I assume. I think this is the one part which gets everyone. This is where the chills comes in. Um, and it makes sense. It's just a shame my Zhongli isn't actually that powerful. He's powerful in this regard, as in his shield is basically impenetrable for at least 20 seconds if I don't uh, reactivate it. For me, his Chinese dub is the one I play with, so I'm more used to him in that voice than any other. His voice is a little bit regal, but it's very calming, it's very soothed. It's, he's not reacting with any sort of emotion, and that's a very key, important part about Zhongli. It's like he's seen so much, he's not phased by anything as much, which is when we play the story quests and we see him showing that kind of um, emotion that we kind of don't expect because he seems so out of it, you know, because he's a god, he doesn't understand the ways of the world or mankind, and yeah, he does understand everything at the same time, he always seems a bit out of it because of that. The thing I really enjoy about this trailer is definitely this guy as well. The narrator, or in this case, the storyteller. I've got to admit, this this little bit of him just blowing on the tea before taking a sip 
adds to his persona of being this um, refined elderly gentleman, you know. All right, let's do the English trader next. We last left off with ancient Liyue beset by an ocean demon and a mountain dragon. Rex Lapis mustered his adept eye hmm. to restore peace. Now that's unique to the English trailer so far, is that he can hear him breathe for this part of the tea. <laughs> and even the grunts of enjoyment, which is left out in the Chinese one. They say that before he set out, he spoke these words. Mysterious expert contracts better Wang Shang funeral parlor. Extremely knowledgeable in all things. This is an age of gods and monsters. I wish not for dominion. Yet I cannot watch the common folk suffer. I will have order! Cleanse the land and defend our safe harbor. That was the first contract in Leo. And now, the final contract, too, has been set in stone. I've got to admit, I enjoyed that dub a lot. Not as much as the Chinese one, but I really enjoyed it as well. I can see why um, this voice actor was picked for the role. He really fits the role of the Geo Arc. Um, his emotions are there, uh, which is the difference between the Chinese one. The Chinese one kind of held this ascetic kind of tone where he had no emotions. He wasn't as effective even in battle. Here we can see him kind of showing anger um, in his tone. For example, here. This is an age of gods and monsters. I wish not for dominion, yet I cannot watch the common folk suffer. The tone in here which says, I cannot watch the common folk suffer, that part kind of instills a certain type of emotion, which is not in the Chinese version. So this guy who voiced him is called Keith Silverstein and he has done uh, a few dubs for anime and some video games as well. He's dubbed Hisoka with Hunter x Hunter which I've never heard in English so I might have to check that out. That. He's got that angry tone to his attacks. And that part, the I will have order, has become pretty much a meme. Will have order. All right, let's do the Japanese one next. Again, Japanese one has also done it. I wonder if it's a downside to some of the original work of Genshin is that when they dub something, they never thought about dubbing that part of it for the trailer. 
So when they do the read up for the other um, languages, they take the opportunity to fill up those voids. I remember people commenting that the uh, Chinese dub is missing some of the uh, audio that the other dubs have. And I think this is part of it. <laughs> I found that um, blowing on the tea and that drinking part a bit more natural compared to the English one because in the English one he was grunting, he was making a lot more kind of uh, noise uh, for drinking tea. Interesting, they didn't dub the noises for the fights here. Mato Kamiga Idimidaris, Kono Yononaka. Onoreto Tenka o Mikyome, Zokse o Chicken. Tendo the Japanese dub, his voice is too young for me. It's not a bad voice, but he's a bit too young for me. For me, I thought it would probably be dubbed by someone a bit older. Um, so the voice actor for this guy is Tomoaki Maeno, who has dubbed a number of different anime. Unfortunately for me, he doesn't seem to have any standout roles. Um, can't seem to find anyone that he's a standout character for. Lots of them seem to be for stuff related to um, Well, I guess stuff more centered to the female audience in Japan. Though the one of note would be Veldora Tempest for Tensei Shidara Slime. Um, that's probably his most uh, noticeable role for me. Or his arc in Gaikot's uh, Kishi Sama. Those are about the only two roles I can find that he stands out in. For me, I probably actually personally thought it would be uh, dubbed by Hayami Sho, who basically uh, is a voice actor for Ferdinand in Honsuki, and also the voice actor for Asano Gakuho in uh, Ansatz Kyoshitsu, the um, father of the principal, well, well, the principal is the father of one of the top students in the A class. Um, his voice is a lot deeper. And at the same time, I feel like he can, you know, produce that regality that's required for this role. But still, it's not a bad one. I just find his voice a bit too soft in some places. Still enjoyable, though. Uh, I have one last um, bit I uh, thought I'll share with you. Uh, so let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd just uh, share that with you. It's um, the voice actor for Zhongli, um, Peng Bo, um, doing the um, 
the live stream for the you know the new patches they will get a live stream this is the chinese version the japanese have their own version and then the english have their own version usually we get all these chibis in front of us and they have the voice actors come in and then they would explain the um the, what the patches are what's new and then they'll go and test it out for some of us inside for some of the games to show up the new game players in this um segment Nganyu, who's voiced by uh, I can't remember her name, but she voices Jean. So the voice actor for Jean and Ganyu in Chinese has the same um, position in the MiHoYo company for voice director. So they're actually in charge of the casting and also the um, direction in which the voice actors take for all of the roles, which I found very interesting because Zhongli the strongest uh, Archon, the oldest Archon, uh, which makes him the leader in a sense, <laughs> is actually voiced by the leader of the voice department of, me, uh, of Genshin Impact. Uh, I like the fact that um, despite him having a normal voice, which you can hear, he still holds that kind of persona. Yeah, it's a shame. I, f I feel like they could have added a bit more to that. It seems like the English one had added more to the uh, trailer, which is a plus side. As you can see, his, his fighting sword sounds don't sound aggressive as in the English one, and the Japanese ones didn't have that dub. In the Chinese one, it just sounds like he's kind of in his own serene place. <laughs> this pillar is a very odd skill. I mean, if you hold down his skill, he creates the shield, which protects him for 20 seconds, and that's buffed depending on your HP and what other artifacts you've got. This pillar does um, the initial damage of being pulled out. Uh, it can also be used to juggle enemies or push them into the air if you know where it lands, which is quite useful if you want to do those um, skill performances, but I've never been able to use it like that. You only get damage if it uh, resonates. So you see this outline here but then it's a square, so it means the area of effect is quite limited because if they just stand outside on the edges on the flat sides, then you won't hit anything. Um, Zhongli's special is also quite uh, energy can... Well, it assumes a lot of energy, so to recharge him also takes a lot. Um, the resonance does provide him with energy, but again, it's very slow paced, so it doesn't provide him with a lot. Yeah, see, his, his lines are just filled with less emotion. It's like he's just kind of telling a story rather than getting too engrossed into what he's doing, which makes sense. He's lived really long, he's witnessed so much, he's lost so much. He's gotten to a point where he's probably very numb to everything. It's a shame that when you uh, petrify them like that, and then you do the hold down skill 
It doesn't actually shatter or do high damage on the petrified. If it did, I reckon that would have been um, great. It would have improved a different way of using his skills. The one thing I hope Hoyo does is add alternative movement to the characters. Like, we're generally walking off like this, where his arms are to his side. It's not bad, but considering his persona and the way I see him, I'm kind of expecting him to have maybe one hand behind his back, you know, and his... his uh, his hand by his side isn't by his side, but maybe more to his front, as if he was like a scholar or a poet, and he's like always in deep thought and thinking, uh, which is something like a common trope in Chinese martial art movies, where you see um, a lot of characters like having their hands behind their back, like uh, clasped in a lock when they're walking, to kind of add this sort of sense of seniority, uh, seniority to their um, to their pacing. These trailers are, as I mentioned earlier before in my Klee reaction, is that the trailers get longer. And unlike the Klee trailer, where we didn't hear a lot of Klee other than that beginning part, we're now seeing a more of a breakdown of the character. So here we've got the narration uh, by the storyteller in the beginning, introducing Zhongli, and then we have Zhongli himself explaining his own role in the world before finishing off with what his current role is in the world and the direction of the art is also really really good um, like these uh, silhouettes that are being used the dragon uh, being used as well because that's also linked to the uh, archon quest Overall, it's a really good trailer, and I see why this piece of music also is as well. I personally am a fan of the string, so yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you liked um, this reaction. Um, if you did, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching.